My next guests are self-confessed media butterflies. She's also known as a ballsy battle axe, and he's the hempecked husband. But who are the real Neil and Christine Hamilton? Yep, two for the price of one, and let's find out. <laughs> Gosh, this is exciting. Is You've got lipstick all over your cheek, but never mind. Oh, oh darling, there was a big song about lipstick on my collar. Told to tell on me. I think I'll bring it out again. Do you know that song, Jumble Wumba? I lost six stone to that. In, six uh, stone? Yeah. Not now. I put it back on. Um, because <laughs> we won't from it. Well, I don't work. Because I could have been. I could have been like Rick Waller, couldn't I? <laughs> Except I smell nice. Anyway, um... You do. I do, thank you. You do, wow, you do. It's vanilla. Vanilla. Mm -hmm. I've always loved you two, and I've loved you two because you've always gone against what people expect the British to be, and that is accept things with a stiff upper lip and get on with it. But why should we? When you believe in something, both of you, you obviously believe in it for keeps. So, Christine, you've been through the wars. How do you feel now? I feel great. I feel absolutely raring to go. Can't wait for the next few years, the next decade. Wow. Well, what happened to that lovely series of yours which when you carted that old sofa around? <laughs> carted that old sofa. It was a bit newer than this. It was a better colour too. It was bright red. Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, that's had some famous butts on there, baby. Well, my sofa had some famous butts on too. Yeah, but it's out of service. I know, it's out of service. But your, yours is, I'm not going to say the biggest butt on there because yours is the not. Did you hear the, that? It's Hit not. Him. Hit I'm him. not going to say it. It's perfectly formed. It is perfectly formed because... <laughs> Your Which chance, it was. <laughs> because you have got so much within you that you just want to tell the world that I'm surprised when the old sofa was put out of service, nothing else happened. Do some people get frightened of you? No, of course not. No, I'm, they, they do, actually. Some people do, because it's all... It's, it's his fault. It's all propaganda. Neil. I'm, He's made I'm me really in be charge like behind the scenes. And I'm, I'm, the, I'm the strong silent type. I'm there pulling the strings, you know. So you are no. Sandy Shaw. No, you're the puppet on the string. You're Sandy Shaw. You've got me in a complete muddle now. Those old I thought I was on. in charge. Are you telling me he is? All this He's time? He's telling me he is that you what are. What are you telling me? What's in there? That's exactly what I'm moving on to. Right. Because you see, I think... If you're going to tell me that I'm not in charge, I'm walking off now. <laughs> <laughs> I tell you... I just, I just kind of want to I don't want that. to hear any nonsense <laughs> like Christine that. Christine Hamilton, you're not in charge. <laughs> <laughs> no, so be, you're outnumbered, by the way, there are more women in this room than men, so Thanks, yes. Darling. Come on, girls. Right. Yeah. So behave. Christine, Chris behave. 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 Barbara Woodhouse. <laughs> Woof. Anyway, Down boy. you're a Scorpio, Taurus rising, Cancer moon. Neil, you're a Pisces, wait for this team, Taurus rising, Cancer moon. Oh. Do you know, I just want to say that this is the best chart I've ever seen in all my astrological days for a couple. Oh. Ever. No wonder. No wonder you stood next to each other through the bad times and you can now enjoy the good because I have never seen such a ravishing duo since Batman and Robin. Yeah. Yeah. You have the most wonderful chart because you both have the same rising sign. So when you both get stubborn, you both get stubborn at the same time. You have the same cancer moon which means you have an empathy that goes beyond the natural to the supernatural that you have a telepathy between each other you are a scorpio which means that you are a controlling woman and you are a pisces which means you love to be controlled <laughs> and if you put all of that i wish he did <laughs> he's out of control most of darling is his taurus rising he likes to Taurus Taurus he, he just has to... Uh, he likes to be organised. He, he likes yes. to be organised on a sort of day-to-day -day basis. 
but he loves to be dominated. And basically, with that kind of domination, which is between the water signs, the emotions that they exude between you two is so exciting. Now, for you especially, Christine... Do you think we, can I just ask you one question? Yes. Do you think it's about time we got married? You're not married, are you? Are you married? <laughs> See? We met Jeez. when we were 18. Do you know, we met when we were 18, and we didn't get married till we were 33. Really? He, well, he took a long time to I'm take... Cautious, I'm cautious by nature, as you know. <laughs> Taurus rising, but she's not. <laughs> I dumped him, I'm afraid. Did you? But you're so... You see, destiny brought you back together, because as a Scorpio, you're ruled and governed so much by fate. A lot of the things that happen in your life, you have no control over which is of course what annoys you once you do get control over it then you will love the challenge of the next challenge now what you've got coming i would say to you christine for the next year or so still some business to get sorted out still yes. some rubbish to yes. be eliminated yes. once that is done then you can soar to the dizzy heights of happiness which will last for around seven years only I, seven. Oh goodness me this woman that, wants so much is that all seven years there. isn't very long no but it's what you do in those seven years then that gathers the momentum okay. for the rest of your life got it there's some exciting things coming now for you neil you're a pisces and they're going through massive changes and because you are the 9th of march yesterday Oh, yes, yeah. you are. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Yeah. I was yes. 55 years young. 55. And when you get to 57, you take over Heinz. Because there's so many varieties. <laughs> anyway, no. We know what beans do for you, don't we? <clears throat> basically, I brought the food in because your charts here are full of gourmet delights. Streetwise delights. Any food, really, mm. that you enjoy that's comfort. But let me just finish before I start on that. With that Pisces stuff and with both your moons, I tell you, if you've had it bad in the past, it's now time to plot and scheme the future. Because the plans that you make now, the rubbish that you exude and offload now in around about uh, 18 months time you'll find that your lives will go up and up and you'll be on a life's merry-go-round but get rid of the rubbish first okay well more rubbish to go now you're a scorpio we don't want to know what it is but we would like to ask but we still won't be told as i said what do you mean what it is the the rubbish is oh the rubbish oh. sorry okay as i said your taurus rising and cancer moons make you real foodies and we're going to be testing your taste buds in our gourmet game later are you up for that Oh, we're real food. I love Christine. Yeah. I think, you know, we could open lipstick. In Soho, I could ah. be a madame, and you could be another madame. Another madame. <laughs> Between us, wow. Now, <laughs> we chatted to Christine and Neil earlier, and we know they like the finer things in life, like what I do. And I'm going to test them now to see if they can taste the difference between posh nosh and high street Tosh. So, shall we get straight on with it? I must say, you know, Christine, just look at me. You're a very sexy woman. I can see why Louis Theroux didn't want to leave your house. <laughs> what about me? You're a very sexy man. <laughs> and, but he did leave your house, dear. I don't know why. It was because of you being married. But you well, look so good. Still, well, darling, for my, uh, you battle on at my age. It takes okay. a bit longer in the morning, you know. Sh shall I tell you where the credit's due? Helen, the makeup girl. Oh, Helen, we love Helen. She we love there. Helen now. Let's go for this then. Would you like right. to take some okay. and tell us what you think is? Well, I think we'll leave that aside. It looks plastic on both plates. Okay. You've both got to, so of you know, while well, they're tasting. I'm not very um, fond of sushi. They've got very foodie signs. Yeah. Taurus rising, cancer see. moon, Taurus, way to the... A, a person's heart is through a dolce vita, cancer moon way to a person's stomach is through food. And they both got it, which is why they make such a fabulous couple. Perfect for one mm. another. Have you decided? Uh, what mm. that one is? Mm. That's this one better than that? Well, what do you think? Well, you go ahead. well I think this one's better than that. So is this the first of our disagreements? Is this the beginning of the end? Yes. <laughs> Well, to be perfectly honest, <laughs> I don't really like sushi, so I'm just picking the fish off. Right. Wait a minute. Go plump for it, my plump dears. For it. Well, I've plumped for that one. Okay. Yeah. I expect Can I change my mind? Right. Yes. I think she's right. And, well, let me see We're if both you wrong. are. <laughs> You're right. That's the plus one. Yay! Would you like to uh, try it's this? It's just as well he rode into line, isn't it? It is. <laughs> yes, it is. <laughs> Controlling, but so right. right. Okay. Try some of the bubbly, darling. Oh, the Ooh. bubbly's right. That's his department. 
Here you are. Mm. One sip from each glass. Only one sip, exactly. <laughs> What's your astrologicals telling you? Okay, we need to make a quick decision. That, that one. That one is Bosch. And it is! Yeah. Well, we no, have to do the chocolates <laughs> because right. you Chocolate. definitely want. Just try one each. Oh, just I for can't. The, hell the of calories, it. I can't. Don't then. Oh. Mm. Oh, Make um. a decision. Mm. Mm. Yes, no. that one. Wrong. Oh, look mm. at that stuff. I think so. No, not. Wrong. Oh. Should have left it. But we there's don't, no we don't doubt eat about sweets. it. We don't do sweets. No, we don't but do you do everything else and you are both posh. Yeah. <laughs>